you know, there's this idea that if you have a fatty liver, it's an isolated problem. It's an individual problem that is probably not related to other organs. That is actually not quite true. So if you have a fatty liver, you also have uh, fatty organs. They should really call a fatty liver just fatty organs because the fat is going to spill off into your muscles, into your heart and vessels, into the pancreas, into the kidney, and many other organs. Now, what's the significance of that? Well, the more fat you have in your organs, the less function you're going to have in those organs. And you're also going to get inflammation. So, for example, the more fat in your liver, the less your liver is going to be able to produce bile, the less your liver is going to be able to convert poisons into harmless particles, the less the liver is going to make certain proteins in your blood, which end up giving you edema in your legs, the less the liver is going to make certain clotting factors, and the more you're going to have um, bleeding and issues with if you bruise yourself. One of the best predictors for a fatty liver is ALT. That's a liver enzyme test. So if you have high ALT in, as a blood test, chances are you have a fatty liver. Another good test would be high levels of triglycerides probably because the body now doesn't have the capacity of bile salts or bile salt production to be able to emulsify and break down those triglycerides and get rid of them. And the other problem with the fatty liver is up to 20% of people with a fatty liver end up having cirrhosis. That's scar tissue of the liver. It's much more serious and you have a lot of other problems, including being on the list for a liver transplant. Now, the question is how do you reverse a fatty liver. If you haven't seen my video on how to reduce liver fat by 50% in 14 days, I put a link down below. But you need to get on a low carb diet. You need to reduce your insulin. When you reduce your insulin, another hormone comes in there called glucagon. And glucagon rapidly burns fat. It turns fat into ketones. And glucagon is triggered by low insulin or a low carb diet. All right, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.